in making this tripod table this is 18th century Chippendale style English and on the legs on the cabrio legs there's a small carving of a leaf canthus leaf it's pretty shallow carving but it uh, nice touch and I'm getting ready to do that carving but I need to get the pattern on the knee of the of the leg. Now I've already done a couple of these legs. This is the third one. So here's one that's been carved and shaped. Uh, and it has the dovetail connection to the post. So <clears throat> I need to get this pattern onto the knee of the of this leg here. Now I've scraped that and sanded it with 320 and what I want to do is imp impress that shape, that ink, onto the mahogany wood. And this is a printout from SketchUp full size that I've cut out, which is the same width of the blank here. And I'll use a process of uh, smearing acetone on the top of this and pressing down on the template and hopefully that ink leaves an impression on the mahogany. This process, I've used this process before. One of my students, Bob Holworth, demonstrated it in class one day. And it's better than gluing the paper. I've glued the paper on here and done it that way as well. But it's harder to get the glue off and the paper off after the carving's done. So it, this is a the best way if it works. And I've had it work and I've had it be stubborn and not work. Now I'm going to use a little bit of tape to to connect this. Um, actually I don't think this helps very much. This is masking tape and what happens when I put the acetone on there, the tape releases, so it's not very reliable, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, put a little bit of it down here at the bottom. Okay, now I've got a little pan of acetone and a little rag. This is the acetone I'm using. And I am will put that acetone on here and then press down with the back side of this carving tool. The printout is from a laser laser printer, and that that's what's required here. The dot matrix type of ink does not work with this process, so it needs to be toner from a laser printer to work. I'll just soak some acetone on there. Already the tape is releasing. So that's not helping much at all. And I'm going to press down pretty hard on the back side. I can see the pattern. Once you put that acetone on there, you can see the pattern through the paper. I 
I'm going to do this. The, the acetone dries quickly, so I have to kind of do this application several times to make it work. Yeah, that tape doesn't work very well. But I can pretty much maintain the position without the tape. I've seen this uh, done just using the back side of a spoon as well. But it does take some hard pressure. And as I mentioned before, I did scrape and sand the surface, and I also vacuumed it to make sure that there wasn't any sawdust on there that would impede this process. have more trouble down here at the base. The upper section seems to work better and faster than the bottom section. So I'm going to keep doing this. I don't want to release the paper yet just to look and see what's happening underneath. Because then uh, putting the paper back is possibly shifting it. I don't, so I just hope that what, what's going on here is working. And then finally I'll remove it and see, see the result. This is where it, down here, where I have more trouble getting the impression on the wood. Okay, one more time, and then I'm going to give up. Let's see. And lift the paper and see what's happened. As I mentioned before, the dot matrix kind of ink doesn't doesn't work with this process. At least I haven't I haven't I've read that and heard that. I have not actually tried it. So this is toner from the laser printer. It's a shallow carving. It's only maybe a sixteenth inch undercutting that I do with several carving tools. again. Don't trust it. Maybe I shouldn't use this carving tool. That, that's tool. That's sharp. 
perhaps a spoon does make more sense doing this, otherwise there could be some blood on out of this process. Okay, I quit. Let's see what we got. Okay, I think that's going to work. I've, there's some faded areas over here on this side, but I can pencil that out, darken it up a little bit, and, and that, that's something I can follow with the with the carving tools.